The world is in the midst of the first truly global energy crisis. This is the stern verdict earlier this week of the head of the International Energy Agency, warning that the worst is yet to come. The other issue that's been pressuring markets today, rising energy prices, it's playing a big part of the stock sell-off today, especially overseas. Imagine a power source so powerful that it replicates the process that fuels the sun, providing nearly unlimited energy to Earth. Nuclear fusion is that promise, a clean, safe, and abundant source of power that produces no greenhouse gases. The sun and all the stars are burning with a source of energy that is much more powerful than anything we've seen. That source of energy is clean, it's safe, it's limitless. Fusion is the ultimate source of energy for humanity. We are building a device called a Stellarator, which by means of a magnetic field can contain a plasma and replicate the conditions necessary to achieve that fusion reaction. For many decades, fusion was the dream of scientists and engineers, but today companies and researchers around the world are racing to make it a reality. One startup at the forefront of this effort is Proxima Fusion, a German company aiming to build the first generation of fusion power plants. Proxima Fusion describes itself as Europe's fastest growing fusion startup. Combining cutting edge research with a vision for an energy revolution, their approach is based on a special kind of device called a Stellarator, which could be the clearest path to putting fusion energy on the grid. In particular, Proxima Fusion is pursuing a design known as a quasi-isodynamic stellarator, which may hold the key to stable continuous fusion. The goal is ambitious. Harness the same power that heats the sun to light our homes and power our cities. It produces enormous energy from tiny amounts of fuel and generates virtually no greenhouse gases. The fuel for fusion Isotopes of hydrogen found in water is practically limitless on Earth. A single fusion reaction releases millions of times more energy per gram of fuel than burning fossil fuels. Even a few grams of fusion fuel could produce as much energy as burning several tons of coal. Crucially, fusion does not produce carbon dioxide or other air pollutants, making it a climate-friendly option. Fusion reactors also avoid the safety risks of fission reactors. There is no chain reaction to run away or melt down. If anything goes wrong, the fusion process simply stops. The only radioactive byproducts from fusion are relatively short-lived compared to the long-lived waste from fission. All these benefits make fusion a compelling goal for meeting future energy demands which is why companies like Proxima Fusion are racing to make fusion power plants a reality. Nuclear fusion is the process of combining light atomic nuclei to form heavier ones, releasing energy because some mass is converted into energy, as Einstein's famous E equals McCarrick 2 explains. The most practical fusion reaction on Earth is between two isotopes of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium, which fuse together to produce a helium nucleus, a neutron, and a burst of energy. Achieving fusion requires extremely high temperatures, on the order of 100 million degrees Celsius, turning the gas into a plasma of charged particles. At these temperatures, the hydrogen nuclei move fast enough to overcome their electrical repulsion and fuse when they collide. To hold and heat this plasma, Researchers use powerful magnetic fields or extremely intense lasers. Magnetic confinement fusion, as in tokamak and stellarator reactors, and inertial confinement fusion, using lasers, are the two main approaches being pursued. The main scientific challenge is keeping the plasma hot and dense enough for long enough that the energy output from fusion exceeds the energy input. Proxima Fusion is tackling this challenge by developing advanced magnetic confinement technology and designs to hold and heat the plasma efficiently. 
Fusion research has made remarkable progress, but significant challenges remain before it can become a practical energy source. So far, experiments in tokamaks and laser facilities have demonstrated fusion reactions, yet keeping the plasma hot and stable long enough to produce net energy gain is very difficult. Plasmas tend to lose heat and particles over time, and unexpected instabilities can cause a sudden crash of the reaction. The materials facing the plasma must survive extreme heat and powerful neutron radiation, which creates tough engineering problems. Building and operating fusion machines is also very costly and technically complex, from the massive magnets to the fueling systems. Overcoming these hurdles, better plasma control, stronger materials and more efficient technologies is the key task for fusion engineers. Proxima Fusion and other new companies are focusing on these problems, developing advanced designs and materials to help close the gap between laboratory experiments and real fusion power plants. For decades, the dominant approach to fusion has been the tokamak, a toroidal, donut-shaped, magnetic confinement device. In a tokamak, powerful magnetic coils create a cage-like field, and an electric current is driven through the plasma like a transformer to help confine and heat it. Tokamaks have demonstrated that fusion is possible. World-renowned experiments such as JTIG in the UK and newer machines like KSTAR, South Korea, and EAST, China, have achieved high plasma temperatures and record fusion output. The ITER project in France is the most ambitious tokamak yet, aiming to show sustained fusion power by the 2030s. However, tokamaks come with important limitations. They typically operate in pulses rather than continuously, because the transformer effect only works for a limited time. The internal plasma current can also cause instabilities. If the current goes out of control, it can lead to a disruption that damages the machine. These issues have made continuous, reliable operation challenging with tokamaks. The sheer size and complexity of tokamak devices, ITER will be enormous and expensive also make them difficult to build and run. All of these factors have motivated fusion researchers to consider alternative designs that might offer greater stability and continuous power. The Stellariter is a different magnetic fusion design that was first proposed in the 1950s as an alternative to the tokamak. Instead of relying on a current driven through the plasma, a Stellariter uses twisted precisely shaped magnetic coils to confine the plasma entirely with external fields. This complex three-dimensional coil arrangement forces the plasma into a twisted torus shape, sometimes described as a donut with a figure eight twist. Because a stellarator does not rely on a plasma current, it avoids the instabilities and disruptions that tokamaks face when that current becomes unstable. In principle, a stellarator can operate in a steady, continuous mode, which would be ideal for a power plant. Early stellarators struggled with plasma leakage and confining the heat for long durations, but advances in design and computation have improved this dramatically. Today's stellarators, like the Wendelstein 7X in Germany, have shown that it is possible to achieve very long plasma pulses with good performance. These successes have renewed interest in stellarators as a promising path to continuous fusion power. This continuous, stable operation is a key advantage for power generation. The Wendelstein 7X experiment demonstrated the benefits of the QI approach, and Proxima Fusion is using those insights to design its own QI-based reactors. By combining the QI concept with modern tools, Proxima aims to achieve a stable fusion plasma that can be maintained for as long as needed to generate electricity. A key technology behind Proxima Fusion's designs is the use of high-temperature superconducting, HTS, 
magnets. These are advanced magnets made from materials that become superconducting at higher temperatures than traditional magnets, allowing them to carry extremely strong currents without resistance. The main advantage of HTS magnets is that they can produce much stronger magnetic fields in a smaller space. Stronger fields improve plasma confinement, meaning Proxima can design a Stellarator reactor that is physically smaller and more efficient than older designs. In other words, for the same power output, a compact reactor can be built, cutting down the size, cost and materials needed. Additionally, because HTS operates at higher cooling temperatures, for example, using liquid nitrogen or simple cryocoolers rather than liquid helium, the engineering of the cooling system is simpler. Proxima Fusion is actively developing and testing HTS magnet technology. For example, the company plans to build a full-scale demonstration magnet to prove the concept. By mastering HTS magnets, the company aims to fully harness the potential of the QI Stellarator design and accelerate the path to a real fusion reactor. Some companies are refining advanced tokamak designs, for example, Commonwealth Fusion Systems and Tokamak Energy, while others are exploring alternative approaches such as pulsed magnetized plasmas or compressed fusion targets. Fusion fuel is virtually unlimited, and a fusion plant would produce energy 24 7 without burning fossil fuels. That means fusion could provide a steady, carbon-free source of electricity to complement solar and wind power, helping to decarbonize our economy. The output power of fusion is also very dense. Even a modest fusion reactor could power a large city. Importantly, Fusion reactions do not have the meltdown risk of fission. If there is any loss of control, the reaction simply stops. This makes fusion inherently safe and self-limiting. On the other hand, it must be said that achieving these benefits is very difficult. Fusion reactors are complex machines. The magnets and structures are huge and must withstand extreme forces and heat.